Hi, I'm Heather Lurcy. Thanks for joining me. Today, I'm going to go a little off track and get on my soapbox. So get ready, part one of my soapbox series. All right, I hope I don't get anyone upset, but my first soapbox is going to be about dinner time. I get very upset when I see children at the dinner table with electronics. So this is going to veer off electronics a little bit, but it's primarily going to focus on that basic premise. When you have dinner with your children, you're really doing two things. You're teaching them table manners, which I think are very important, and you're also making the little things work. Those little things that are going to become big things later on, they'll be important. One of the things I read about the most on Facebook posts are people who have children that are out of control or they have a teenager that won't talk to them. Those are the two things I read about the most on Facebook. And I think dinner time can be a time to start off on the right foot and get both of those things somewhat under control. So it starts when you have a baby. Now, when your baby's old enough to sit in a high chair, they should join you at the table. They can eat dinner maybe a little before you do because maybe they need some help still at that point. But when you and your spouse sit down, pull the high chair right up to the table. Maybe give your baby some things from your plate. Maybe this is the time to give them a spoon and some yogurt. Just let them go to town. It's going to be a mess, but we can clean it up. Talk to your child. Of course, you're going to be talking to your husband or your wife, your spouse, but you're, you're going to also talk to your child as much as you can, even when they're a baby. Include them in the conversation. Now, as soon as they're old enough to sit up in a chair, maybe they need a booster seat, but they're sitting in a chair, then that's where they need to sit at the dinner table. Put them in their seat, push them up to the table, and they should be eating dinner with you. Your child can be a part of the process. They can learn how to set the table. They feel so great when they can help do that. When they're at the table, you should be teaching them how to lean over their plate to eat. Of course, they'll be learning how to use utensils. They can listen to and take part of the conversation that you're having. They should not get up from the table. They should wait first until everyone's been served before they start eating. And then when everyone is done to be excused from the table, they should either ask to be excused or be given permission to leave the table. At first, they should be able to take their dinner plate over to the counter. Eventually, of course, that can increase and you can have them helping to clear off the table and put dishes in the dishwasher. I guess most people would say to me, Heather, my kid's not going to sit still for that long. Well, build up to it. Maybe plan a quick meal at first and build up your time. But set your expectations and start following through with it. You're going to reap great rewards from doing this. When you go out to eat, the same rules apply. The same exact rules at home except maybe you're on even better behavior than you are at home. So when you go out to eat, your child should of course be sitting with you. They might need something to do. Well, first they're going to be deciding what to eat. So they're ready when their waiter or waitress comes to them. They should order on their own. After that, there's going to be some time while the meal's being prepared. So, a lot of restaurants actually still give out 
uh, crayons and a piece of paper f to keep the child occupied. But you can bring a little set of crayons, a little piece of paper to color on. One of the favorite games that my children and I played when we were learning about money was that I would reach into my wallet and kind of dump out my change purse. And we would talk about a penny and how much that was worth and a nickel and so on. So we learned to name all of the money, all of the coins, and then learned how much they made. And then eventually I would say, how much is this added up? And everything that they could do correctly, they got to keep. So that was a very fun game. Uh, you can play face off where you're challenging each other to name a category, maybe things that start with the letter A and you go until somebody fumbles. So think up things to do, talk about the day, ask how their day was. They should ask you how your day was. Maybe ask their other parent how their day was. You can make those suggestions. Uh, when they're getting fussy, you can say, hey, did you ask mom or dad how their day went? You've got to teach them these things, how, how to behave at a, at a dinner table and what to do, what to do to keep themselves occupied. They should put their napkin in their lap. Of course, they should lean over the table when they eat. They should say please and thank you. They should not have 10, I don't know how many, refills of whatever drink they ordered, especially not soft drinks. Maybe it's a special treat and you've allowed them to get a soft drink. That's great. Maybe they can have one refill. But after that, they should just have water even with milk uh, or anything else that you order. When you're done, make sure that you clean up the mess. They're children. Undoubtedly, they are going to drop, have dropped something to the floor. Maybe it's a fork. Maybe you have a baby and they're in a high chair and you've made the decision to give them crackers. And there's crackers all over the floor. I would suggest no crackers, but if you give them crackers and there's crackers all over the floor, then try to pick them up as best you can. You're showing them by example what it is that they should do. I would suggest things that maybe aren't quite so crumbly, uh, but make sure your child picks up their napkin, whatever it is that they have dropped, um, put their silverware on the plate, teach them how to do all these things to indicate that they're finished with their meal. If they're older, they can help you calculate the tip. Make sure that they understand, at least in the United States, what that means, that someone is working for tips. They're working for less money and their tips is how they make their money. So teach them about that and teach them how to calculate it. Great math skill. Eventually, when your children are older or you feel like they're ready, uh, take them out to a white tablecloth dinner something special. Dress up just a little bit. Doesn't have to be over the top, but uh, a little bit and a little bit more formal. And you'll be surprised at how much your children will enjoy that. I remember when my youngest son was 10 and we asked him what he wanted for his birthday. Uh, he wanted to go see a musical. Well, that was the first thing. But the second thing he wanted was to go to the fancy restaurant that we had been to previously because he really liked it. So that's what we did for his birthday. This also applies when you're going to someone else's house, say a neighbor's house for dinner, or maybe your relatives' homes for the holidays. Same rules apply. It doesn't matter if the neighbor's children are getting up and down from the table uh, or they are flinging their food around or they're drinking a whole two liter bottle of Dr. Pepper. They're allowed to have their iPhones and their iPads. Your children are not. So same rules at home apply for when they go out. Again, doesn't matter if their cousins are running circles around the Thanksgiving table your children are sitting in their chairs. And again, with no electronics. I don't think that I can emphasize enough how much I believe 
that iPhones, iPads, any type of electronics should not be allowed at the dinner table. It's your job to teach your child, to discipline your child. Make sure that you've talked about consequences and follow through with them. Start when they're little, be consistent. And if you have a chance and you're out to dinner and you see a lovely family with well-behaved children, compliment them on your way out. You'll make somebody's day. Hope you'll subscribe, like this video, leave your comments below. Thanks so much.